In this video, we are tearing out the entire rear end, the drive shaft, and the transmission. So let's do it. Today I have such a huge announcement for this channel. I'm so excited. I've actually been holding this in and trying to figure out like when I was gonna tell you guys about it and it feels right. You know, today feels like the right day to let you guys know what is going on. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what I'm about to tell you because I get really excited for things and sometimes do sneak peeks on my Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, you might already know. If not, what are you doing? Come on, you know? Don't you want to get to know me? Like, check out my Insta, yo. Today I have an announcement for you guys. I'm really excited about it for this channel. It's really awesome. So, uh, Stick around and you'll find out what it is. Okay, so one update is that your girl actually organized the shop a little bit. I'm still like majorly moving in, getting things set up and everything, but I did build this thing yesterday and organized the 20B assembling table. This is getting very, very close, guys. A really quick 20B update is that the block is finally almost back from the machine shop. We got caught up just because the machine shop um, happened to be moving locations when we first started working with them. So obviously that kind of hindered the timeline a little bit, but we're on the finish line with that block. We're just finishing up all the oversized studs and then it'll be ready to put together. But this is my assembly area with all the 20B parts, getting everything in and ready so that we can just go for it right when the block gets back. This is my door. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. This is my door from Red Bull Global Rally Cross when I competed in it. I'm pretty sure, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is from an event that happened in Las Vegas where it was pouring down rain. It was ridiculous. It was my first year in Las Vegas competing with Red Bull Global Rally Cross and it was pouring, it was hailing, it was the gnarliest race ever. And yeah, the cars got demolished. Like everyone was just like ping ponging off of each other and it was, it was awesome, but it was uh, gnarly. So at the end of that race, I was able to take the door. <laughs> <laughs> off my car so I have that I also have the hood from this car as well that I'm gonna bring in here I don't know I think I wanted to like put it on the wall somewhere I'll do the same with the hood but I have this here but you can actually like see space because before you can see no space at all so I have this set up which is cool got my boosted boards there did some organizing and then over here I built this one as well so this is gonna help out a lot with all the tires I'm gonna end up putting these red ones at the very top like just out of the way because right now I do not have a vehicle that will fit with these right now so I'm gonna need to get much bigger rims and then figure out what can do an awesome burnout with like 20 this size 20 I might need 20 or 21 inch rims for these. Super stoked about them though. These are the uh, Kumo Tires Red Smoke Burnout ones. And when I do use them, it's gonna be amazing. So I still have those, I'm holding on to those. And then this is gonna be my tire area. Cleaned up a little bit. I'm trying to organize these parts. Like you guys saw in the last video, we got all of this out. So, right now I'm about to start prepping this subframe for paint. And, uh, let's see. Oh, I was going, this was organized. I was going through paint supplies and now it's all right here. But, yeah, it's kind of coming together, you guys. It's starting to get more organized and looking like a legit shop. Ah, <sighs> uh, do I want to tell you guys what I got this early in the video? I don't know. I feel like I should keep talking about other things and then eventually get to it, or just take you to it right now. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so my big announcement is that I got another car. 
I know. I know. People are going to say, oh, this one's not even running yet. But you know what? I'm just doing this one right. All the pieces are coming together. This one's going to be amazing. But even when that car is done, that's going to be like close to a thousand horsepower monster, like my baby car that looks amazing. But your girl also needs seat time and a lot of seat time in a not so pristine or high horsepower car. So <laughs> my announcement is that I got another FC to be my practice car. This is gonna be like my missile drift car, my fun car, party car. You know, the one that when I'm teaching people to drift or have like a track day with friends, I can just throw them in there and not like be too worried about it because obviously I'm gonna be paranoid about that one, but I'm still gonna put people in it. But you know, I think I really, really am prioritizing seat time this year. I'm gonna finish this build and do it right. I'm not gonna rush it. And I want to practice also in a car with not as much horsepower and have a car that I can just be confident earlier on riding the walls, like pushing the limits um, without destroying my like race car I've been building for years. So that's the announcement. I got another FC. I got a practice drift car and well, before I tell you any more about it, I'll just show you. If you've been following me for a while, you have seen this car before. So that's your hint. All right. There you have it, that is the announcement. Your girl got another FC and I like, I couldn't be more excited about that car and bringing that car on this channel as another build because it, it just makes so much sense. You know, I, again, am prioritizing seat time this year, getting a ton of on-track practice and you don't wanna just jump into a thousand horsepower drift car and only get used to that first before getting used to lower horsepower cars anyway. You know, my drifting experience so far has all been in lower horsepower, like, you know, a 240s stock 110 horsepower. So for this FC, you know, if we shoot for around 350 horsepower, that's a nice horsepower range for a good practice car that I can just run, run, run into the ground and to push limits, push getting close to that wall, you know, make mistakes, um, hit it a few times, you know, it's gonna happen. It being the same chassis as my pro level car is just gonna get me way more comfortable in my crazy car too. And you know, for me, I wanna have a fun car that I can throw my friends into. And uh, you know, I think this is definitely gonna be like the practice car and just the party car. You know, this one's gonna be called the Party FC. You know, why not? And for me, because I'm going 20B now also, you know, all of my Turbo 2 parts from my original car can now go into this practice car and I can have as spares for my practice car. So really it just, it just all came together so, so perfectly. And it's like really awesome that I'm gonna get to have DK's like original drift car. It's kind of being passed down to me, which I feel very, very honored. And it's gonna start another life now with me as, as the driver since DK has now moved on to primarily drifting his FD. 
So it's just really, really cool. The history of the car is amazing to me, like keeping it in the Garage Life fam. Uh, the fact that it's my same chassis, it's gonna be the Party FC, and that one, we're really trying to get that up and running ASAP so I can start driving the crap out of it. I'm super excited. We're gonna be swapping over a lot of stuff from my current car that I just can't use anymore with the 20B onto that one. Luckily, you know, my car was a Turbo 2 setup and this one is Turbo 2 as well. I'm really happy. It all just came together and it made so much sense and I, I really don't know why I didn't think of doing all of this until like very recently, but I pulled the trigger, I did it. I have another FC guys. For that car, we're gonna be putting in a Turbo 2 13B. I'm kind of figuring out the full plan for that right now, but honestly, like in the next video or the video after that, we're gonna be building the engine for that car. So um, yeah, a lot of craziness is about to be dropping on the channel. We're now gonna be doing two builds, two FCs, and um, it's cool that they're also like at different levels, uh, both the FCs, you know, one is full-blown pro spec car, and then the other one is still gonna be really nice, but it's gonna be more of my party car, my party FC, maybe do some fun stuff to it, do more like DIY hacks and more grassroots like drifter hacks on it. So I've been really excited to share the news with you guys. Let's get to driving soon, right? It's funny that I am a race car driver. That's my background is in racing and most of my channel, I haven't been driving yet. So you know what, that, that's a problem and we're gonna fix that now with this car. So I am super excited to bring more party FC updates to all of you guys and that'll be happening very, very soon.